Good afternoon YouTube. Um, I had a couple of questions yesterday about this knife on how I got the nice clean fit for a solid wooden handle. And the truth is this is not a solid wooden handle. This is a three-piece mortise tang handle. Now a conventional mortise tang has two pieces of wood which you will then draw out the shape of your tang on each side and with a routing bit or a Dremel tool hollow it out and put the two together. So that's a conventional two-piece mortise tang. But today I'm going to show you how to do a three-piece mortise tang. So I've got my three pieces here cut from a single block just so that I get uniformity of grain once I trim everything down. And I'm going to set, we're going to label them clearly. We're going to label them one two, three, alright, and also cross, cross, circle, circle, one, okay, so now we've got our knife here, and just simply mark your tang, I put my the shoulders of the handle of the blade a little bit lower so that I can actually round this on the grinder. One, two, you can use little spring clamps to hold this in place if you like to stop it from moving around, but I find this is sufficient. All right, so there we go. I've marked off where my tang has to go. Alright, and you can see my shoulders start here. That we have to remember. So the next step is to take the bandsaw and cut that out. So there we go, I've cut out my uh, space for my tang. Now you notice I use the, the blade of the bandsaw here, like a file, just to clean out the back here. You can do it with an actual file, or you can also drill holes there, and then bandsaw up to the holes and the piece will fall out nice and neatly. So your thing should fit in there nice and neatly. Now it should, it obviously sits a little bit, see there's a space at the bottom there, because we now have to file or grind these round to match up with the shoulders of the tang. Using the grinder, this fits this fits over the grinder plate here. I'm just gonna round it just quickly on each side to remove those corners and round this very slightly to the shape that I want it. It's not perfectly straight, but that's fine. Once you've glued the one side on, we're going to go over it again and straighten it up perfectly. But what we're mainly concerned with is the shoulders here. Now we're going to fit that against the shoulders. Okay, so here we have it. We're going to trial fit. This way. Alright, now I can see it's touching. You can see it's touching the bottom, but the top one there's a space, which means I have to grind the bottom away a bit. We're going to do that quickly. I've adjusted it. Now you can see the shoulder's touching there, and the shoulder's touching there. Now that's what we want. Now if you really want to be pedantic about it and, and be very precise, you could obviously file these corners to fit the shoulders exactly, and it's much easier to do it with a piece like this than it is to do it on a hole as in H-O-L-E hole. When you fit it like this, you have to stick your file in this way and fit it. So it's much easier to do it like this because 
Everything is right there for you to see. So now I've got one shoulder touching there, one shoulder touching there. There's no wiggling. So that's the first stage done. Okay, now the next stage is to fit it to its sister piece. So we've got, okay, well I'll check the top, the number. There's the two, there's the one, the one's gotta go here. This next part is the most important. You're going to need a disc sander or a piece of marble or something perfectly flat that you can put the piece of wood on because this, this, this method relies entirely upon these two pieces being perfectly flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the disc sander and we're going to flatten them just to make sure. Two sides that are going together. Okay, so these two sides. First I'm going to do is this. Now you've got to be careful, don't push too hard because you've reduced your surface area by cutting out the hole in the middle. So when you put it on, just gently, even pressure with your whole hand. Okay, if you want to, you can put some, maybe a, mark, a pencil marks all over it to test where they're high and low spots. Then we need this one with the X. Just gently, I've got even pressure. See my pinky at the bottom there pushing. This is not an incredibly sharp disc. Um, the paper in here is not very fresh. I don't want it too fresh because we don't want to remove too much material. Okay, so we've got two pieces that are now incredibly flat. Now what we can do to test, so we test it against the light. We can see there's no gaps. So if we put it like this, you can see the light. Close it. No light shining through, which means it's perfectly flat. All right, so now the next stage, we're going to glue it together. The first section. Now, all we have to do is mix some quick set glue. I've got a whole bunch of these clamps here, and we're just going to clamp it together making sure that we glue the correct side together. So I can see these marks here, these little like wax stains, which are in the wood itself. So I know that this is the right way, and the right side. Yeah, definitely the right side. Okay, so I only need to glue this part here. Don't smear the glue all over the other piece, because we don't want to uh, change, change the level of the glue. So we're only gonna put the glue here, and then we'll stick together. Key is to line it up perfectly because this wood has a grain and the grain if it doesn't line up perfectly once it's glued together will you'll be able to notice that it's a three-piece handle so I'm making sure that it's all so I'm feeling here with my finger to make sure there's no step which there is a little one okay, not anymore All right, now as the glue starts to harden, I'll get a little brass needle and I'll peel the glue out on the inside there. And then we can move on from there. The glue is now mostly hard. The bits here are still a little bit tacky and just enough for me to use the needle, little brass needle, to peel it out. If you don't want to do this, you can just round your tang a bit to compensate for the space in the corners the glue takes up. So, we've got here the corners cleaned out, apart from a few stragglers, which is okay, that's not a problem. Now you'll notice the piece of wood in the middle is quite thick, and our tang is much thinner. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grind that down on the belt sander until it's almost up to where the, um, the tang sits, then we're going to flatten it out very slowly with the 
disc sand there until we can run our finger over it and barely feel the difference in height at the base of the tang, not the end of the tang. Okay. I've got my knife to check. That's pretty damn close. Okay, I don't want to take the risk of grinding too much off now. I'd rather use it this center because that one's almost perfect. This one's a slight step. Now I want to also blend in. Yeah. Right. right now here comes a very sensitive part I can't grind too much off of this because as soon as this thing sits higher sits higher than the space see that it's exact your efforts are finished and you have to start again. So I'm going to check it. The ultimate test of whether it fits is to take your two pieces, put them together and put your knife in to see if it goes in nicely. So what we do is we just line it up like we did before. This is just a dry fit. Make sure it's nice and tight because when it's all glued together it's going to be this tight so you need to know if your blade is going to fit right. One on one side, one on the other side. Okay. Blade gets a little tight, but <clears throat> tight enough that I can just push it in without it deforming the glue. So that's perfect. If you can get it a little bit snug like that, that's good. If it fits in just slightly loose, that's all right too. Okay. So that's my close fit. Now that little gap you see there, that's just a trick of the light, that'll fill up with glue nicely, you won't even notice that, and the same on the other side. Alright, so there is a fraction of filing to get the shoulders to fit perfectly, once it's all glued together, but uh, yeah, we'll do that now. So let's glue it together, okay, now this time I've left just a little bit, I've put the glue a little, I want the glue a little thinner around the edge, because once you clamp it together, I don't want too much glue squishing into the cavity. Then we put it together, making sure it's the right way around. Put the first clamp on, making sure it's aligned. This is for the grain, remember. To make sure the grain of the wood all lines up. Then you can put these on the front. One on one side. Here we go, look at that going down nicely. Ah, stupid clamps. Keep wanting to move everything. The other one. Okay, once you've got the three primary ones on, you can do all the smaller ones. Okay. Then that one. That's now glued, you can see there. Alright, now we wait for that to dry. Okay, so now the knife is in. As you can see, see I've sanded off the edges just roughly. But you can see here there are little gaps. 
Now, this is that little bit of filing I said we had to do in the end. So I'm gonna clamp this in the vise. And I'm just gonna round those corners until it fits. All right. Bless you. Okay, I'm just marking it. That side's okay. Okay, we are bang on there. That one's a little big, but that's easy. We can just grind it down. So our filing is done, all those little nooks and crannies are now filled and you can see that fits nicely there, it fits nicely there. Alright so like every other knife handle now, you will just apply glue and glue it in but take to a heart that this is now a, a super tight fit so when you try and push the tang in there's going to be an air pocket underneath that's going to want to push the knife out. So you've got to push it in slowly, let the glue come out, and make sure your shoulders are lined up with your filings. Because sometimes, if it's not neat, if it's not as tight, the um, blade will slide from one side to the other. All right, I'm not going to glue it now because I have plans for this handle, other plans. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye.